not gonna take much damage from fire. Boomer said that Fanghorn should be nearby. There's the Fanghorn. Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. Horn rib, now I just need the charger horns. Got one. There goes a horn. Got everything I need for Dylan Boomer. Now, to see about that weapon of theirs. Ignoring me again? I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Aww. Oh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom Parts of it have been tampered with. Almost like an override. It looks like it died on impact. Maybe it charged off the cliff up there? I better keep following the trail up. trees. It's like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? But how? A 
and less. This cave leads out of the daunt. The old cart tracks collapsed. It looks recent. Guess I'm not going that way. There's smoke from deeper in the mine. An explosion? Okay, better take a look at where the smoke's coming from. <coughs> There's a lot of smoke. It looks like mine runs pretty far back. Enough blaze here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. This note's addressed to Ovend. <sighs> Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Ovend must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. So Olvind was secretly blasting in the mine, trying to squeeze it for all it's worth. Until... Bristleback stampeded through. Maybe the explosions blew away open? But from where? Okay. Let's see where this leads. Savior? What news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the daunt. No, you don't think... That Olvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry. So thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course. I take one little doze in that damn yeah. If I'm gonna find out where the bristlebacks came from, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going? I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd. Still. 
No, that's not true. Part of the Sundom before the Forbidden West. Don't need a machine to carge a horn. Maybe that means the embassy starting soon. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. But first, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. Look as sharp as ever. Ah, uh, savior. <laughs> Tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Baron Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy. <laughs> I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you can get those blasted gates open. <laughs> Guess I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. Embarrass yourself, soldier. Savior! Savior! Savior. You're my last hope. Conover. She's Meridian Savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse. They're here in the Daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Larovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakh take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here, meaning someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different, jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger. And when Larovic mentioned the eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but they heard me. The stranger took off, and Lorovic lunged at me with his knife. 
instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods, searched Laravik's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Laravik in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy and doesn't want distractions. But hey, if you find a bunch of eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. The meeting you witnessed, did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched it, Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Hey, what happened here? What do, what do you care? Don't you? As it happens? No. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these... these two idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy. Wait. Two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard another one shouting up top. Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Uh, aren't you gonna do something? Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? <sighs> Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing. should know what to do with this.
Back up now. Machines. They've trapped that awesome up here. Are you hurt? I live. My so-called bodyguard. You see him on your way up? It was uh, hard to miss him. He's dead. Oh. Guess that's what I get for believing in the first chuff in the tavern who said he was a, a mountain climbing machine hunter. Oh, at least I don't have to pay him now. What are you doing up here? That used to be a signal tower. The mechanism uses a special lens, which in some very specific circles is highly valuable. And since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to... liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lenses from the other towers. I'll make it very worth your while. You said that was a signal tower. In its day, it was a sight to see. All six of them all lit up all around the daunt. They used to warn folks that the Tanax are coming, for whatever that was worth. As you can imagine, the car just spared no expense putting them together. Hence the fancy lenses in need of a new home before the towers are torn down. So you're a thief. I'm more what you'd call an opportunist with a good eye for business. Look, the Karja are gonna tear all these towers down anyway. They see no value here. They're trying to make nice with the Tanakh now. See? It's a victimless crime. A uh, opportunity. Tell that to your friend down there. <sighs> Self-inflicted. Why can't you do it? Look, even if I hadn't hurt my ankle here, I'm clearly nowhere near as capable as you. Oh, come on. I, I can't just let the lenses go to waste. That's not what my father would have wanted. Your father, is he a thief? Sorry, opportunist too? No, he helped design the towers before he passed on. So that's how you know about the lenses. Yeah, and why they have sentimental value. I already found some, actually. <laughs> well, look at that. Looks like you're quite the opportunist too, eh? Let me take these off your hands then. This should be a nice reward for your efforts. I'm an honest merchant after all. Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens up this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. Locking up for the hunt. I should be able to pull that thing out of the wall. Okay, I'm in.
Really busting up this place. One of the signal devices. Should be a lens I can grab for Reyna. Got the lens. I can trade it with Reyna the next time I see her. Did you find the lens? Maybe. If you're ready to trade. Ha! Let's deal! Here you go. Isn't that a sight? And here's a little something for your troubles. Now if you find any more of these, make sure to come find me at Baron Light. You got it. See you around. Must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Bloodstains. It's as good a place to start as any. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. I see plenty of tracks from the Karja search party. Not helpful. Broken branches. Was someone up here? Faint tracks leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. <sighs> Lost the trail. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. Find a cauldron to learn how to override machines. Blood. A lot of it. Whoever the runner was, this machine must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. Looks like they're headed for that bridge. Someone set up a lookout down here. Bandages. Looks like the runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. Not a bad view of barren light, if you wanted to spy on it. Where did you go off to?
The trail ends here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With that injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs. We get a strong color out of this. This looks like a good place for someone to hide. Yes! What are we supposed to do now? We stay on track and make our way out west. If we don't know Larvik's dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra. And now he's dead, too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first, we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard, we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. Let's go. The shadow will rise again. A new dawn is coming. Man down! Anyone see anything? He's trying again! You think the Outlanders returned? They're still suspicious. He's not here! Let's give it up. I'm still worried someone's out there. <sighs> Takes care of that. But I'm sure there's more of them outside. I better be careful. No! I need help! Sounds like there's more Eclipse beyond the Daunt. If this Rayad was their only link to them, he might have a focus. He could tell me where they are. I'm guessing that's Rayad. Blood trail must have been his. He bled out trying to get here. I was right. Rayad has a focus. Eclipse, if you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I'll have to pay this Vezra a visit and crush his new Eclipse Empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, out past Baron Light. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. Alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But Nozar? He might not be convinced by your words alone. 
If he needs proof, show him that. And tell him the man he's got locked up risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to Nozar. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. <sighs> Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader is dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I wanna help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, Savior. And the remains of anyone that cannot but... save them. <laughs> Where's Erend? That looks like he's had a few. Tanakh? Gentlemen. Uh, that's our cue. Taking the edge off? Oh, well, it's the end of the world's coming. I don't be sober for it. Now, let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So whatever you need, ask away. How have things been since well, I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. Wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, 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 we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. <laughs> half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that is the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. What do you know about the embassy? Oh, yeah, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> what do you know about this place? No, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I better get going. Right, you know, I have to do complicated Aloy things. Maybe just don't disappear completely this time. No promises. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Huh? Hopefully sober next time. Not done counting it. Be careful out there, Aloy. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. Yes, sir. Why the long face, Mavas? Wish you were heading out there? No, sir. Don't... Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, his second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. 
And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do. But I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offered tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh returned personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh Marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. How goes it, I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olvind was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be... Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... 
You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Far off. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate! That is a direct order! Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the Savior! I don't care if it's the Dowager Queen herself! The gate stays sealed until that horn blows! I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Varl! Hi, Aaron. Uh... What's Orders happening? I you know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. <clears throat> oh, that's it! Arrest her! I'd like to see you try! Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey! Nozar! You stupid bastard! You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let her through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Vod gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here. As it often has with me. As you can see. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. 
I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja Sea Ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. <laughs> and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I'd lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? I'd kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this rite, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down, and then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. You said the cool route is a Tanakh trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me. It is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but... <laughs> well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the Chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh Chief. The winners of the cool route must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? The word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. Yet there is much to admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace, and now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. 
The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The cards you need to know what I have learned. Yeah. The way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakhs don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change, even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. You asked why I need Rite of Passage. I'll tell you. But you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west. And I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you. And he'll listen to Look! Him. The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parley with the Karja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. Karja have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, 
marshals. You who claim to be Tanakh. Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us! The embassy is proof! And all of you marshals are his accomplices! For this, I condemn you to death! You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us, exile. Lancers, form up! They're riding machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Fashav, come with us now, or not at all! Archers, light them up! Gonna make it. Open the gates. Open the gates. Open the gates. Stand your ground! Fire at will! I don't have a shot! Stick to cover! Archers on the ridge! Here they come! Time to fight! Won't get me that easily. The right are still standing! Here it comes! Here's ammo! Ow. I'll cover you! Leave 
I'll skin you both! Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. Next, girl. I never seen a shield like that. Better scan it. I can break through a shield if I damage it enough. I gotta get through that shield. This battle is done. Oh, that helps. There, not my chance. Turn. Come down here and face 
It's me! No! It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades! Mark this day! Today you have decimated the marshals! Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war on Hikaru. Yeah! Yeah! Move out! Get him to the camp. Now. You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys. I don't think it can take a hit, but I should be able to use it to glide. Still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Fashav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though... Obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? You said the Tanakh's lands are far to the west. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then New Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, lowland, and sky. 
Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The Desert Clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory. But the United Clans rose up against them, forced them all the way back to the Daunt. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert. <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? You mentioned the Utaru tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? That's right. Plainsong is their home. They're a peaceful bunch, at least compared to the Tanakh. More taken to farming than fighting. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden West. Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far, they've declined. If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but... No. They just want to be left alone. This area is no man's land. That it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. Well, I'd never call no man's land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants of some forgotten war. You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Like who? Well, in addition to the salvagers that just went through, there were a couple of other parties of Asarum Delvers. Even saw two Karja scholars trekking southwest with an Asarum crew. Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh the chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. About Fashav. <sighs> The man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the West, only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. It's too bad about Nazar and Fwadis. At least Nozar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest, well, no one deserves to go out that way. I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rites. It's the least I can do. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. I would need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up.
I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. So, this is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the Spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe, a backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The Blight, the storms, Regala's machine riders. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. Those must be the salvagers I met in Baron Light. Looks like something's going on. Our armor's gotta make all other armors look like rusted buckets of scrap. You really think you can do that? Karuf, come on! You know me. Have I ever given you anything less than perfection? If it isn't the savior of Meridian, and of my very own operation. Larand, say hello. Hello, nice to meet you. You know, if it weren't for this one, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. Oh, nasty business. What the Tanakh did back at the embassy. But everyone in Baron Light is thankful you drove them off. So this is your salvage operation. You won't find a better place to trade machine parts in the West. And soon we'll be trading in more than just that. For too long, the West has been, well, forbidden. Dangerous. But what if I told you we could make an armor so tough, so infallible, that you'd never have to worry about survival out here again? I'd be curious to take a look at it. Of course you would. <laughs> and that's why I've asked my most talented salvagers to find what they need to make that armor. Each of them will present their work to me. The best protection will go on sale to hunters, just like you. Lucky me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to back in Chainscrape. Larand can take care of you while I'm gone. Can't wait to see what you come up with, my boy. Leave it to me. It'll blow all the others out of the forge. You have got to help me. What are you talking about? The armor. I made a dozen versions of it, but none of them were good enough. And there are other crews further west. If they make better armor than mine, I can kiss that keg full of shards goodbye. So you get a prize if Karif picks your armor? A big one. And I finally have the perfect design. I just need the right parts, and fast. So maybe you'd be willing to pick up a contract and get them for me? What would I be looking for? Shell walker containers. Look, their plating's made to withstand a lot of damage. It'll make the perfect armor. I know it. I think I can handle that. Ah, oh, thank the forge. All right. We scouted out a herd near here. Here's the contract. It'll tell you everything you need to know. You take the machines down. My people will pick up the containers. I'll give this a closer look later. Thanks. I'm counting on you, Aloy. Some kind of outpost with pens. That might be where Regal is keeping her machines. I need to find a way to get in there. I could scan the area to see what I'm up against and tag any rebels or machines in my focus to keep track of them. Shut that machine down quick with shock ammo. A 
tree. That looks ready to fall. What was that? Better check it out. Ah, uh, that old tree Ready finally decided to fall. Should do it. Don't want to use too much. It's a shame Ikara wasn't cut down with his marshals. <laughs> uh, why did we have to stay behind to guard tame machines? We should be out there fighting. Someone needs to keep an eye on them. Magala will run us through if we lose any more. Don't move. Up. Not that many machines. Where'd they all go? Better check in that cave. A drawbridge. Might be my way across. Well, that's one half of the bridge. How to drop the other side? Getting the bridge with my focus might show me something. Huh. Hmm, this will make a good die. There, bridge is down.
Bristleback. It looks like it fell into a tunnel. So the rebels were keeping Bristlebacks here. The machines fell into the tunnel, which must have collapsed as they ran further in. What if Olven's explosives created the sinkhole? I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. It looks like the rebels have a camp in addition to those machine pens. I should see what they're up to. They've got riders patrolling the area. Better be careful. Bet I can climb that wall there. Maybe find a way into the camp. Made it. If I want to figure out what's going on here, I need to find whoever's in charge. Wish something would happen. Anything. See that? For real? Dead. Uh, Recent. Room on me. Dead searching. I can send it to my Someone's stash. Someone's killed over here. Search, but I will fight. Damn it! There's a Nora warrior here. Prisoner. Osram, I think. Blaze. And just a short ride from the Karja border. There's enough here to take out half of Baron Light. Yes. Hey, I'm here to help. Stay low and follow my lead. You got it. And that's all of them? Now I need to find whoever's in charge. If they're planning an attack on Baron Light, it's gotta be stopped. Much better.
I think one of these structures is a command center. Hold still, would you? Let's see what you're doing with all that big Thanks blades. for the help, Red. from this camp goaded one of the sons of Prometheus into an altercation. You would do well to remember that our allies are responsible for providing the machines that we shall ride to glory. The next tool who interferes with them will be eviscerated and left in the desert for carry-on. There will be no second warning. Will that be sufficient? Yeah, that should prevent your people from butting heads with mine. You have my thanks, Regala. May our pact lead to victory. So Regala's not working alone. These sons of Prometheus gave her the ability to override machines. They've been accumulating blaze. And from what I saw out there, enough to blow up something big. Daunt. Tracking movement in and out of barren light. With emphasis on the fort's weak points. We're gonna blow up barren light. Make a hole big enough to fit an entire army. So Regala plans on invading the Sundom. At least when she gets an army big enough to do it. Good thing I blew up all that blaze. Barren light should be safe. For now. I'm still getting a signal from my focus. A tall neck. If I override it, I can get data on the surrounding area. Looks like a satellite dish. If I can climb it, I should be able to reach that tall neck easily enough. Oh! <sighs> 
be a way up this thing. Power generator. It looks dead. No power, though. Can't climb any higher, but it looks like this thing can rotate. If I can figure out a way to turn the power back on, I'm gonna be able to move things around and find a way up. cell disconnected from the main power line this should get that generator below the dish going there's the generator bet this power cell can get it running power's back i should check that console i found earlier this thing does. Looks like I'm in luck. Something's wrong. Error. Dish alignment incomplete. Motor function impeded. worse here. If I don't find a Gaia backup, it'll be like this everywhere. I should be able to get to that tall neck now. Just gotta find the right spot. Looks like I might need to glide onto the tall neck. Just gotta time it right. There we go. Time to override the thing. and map data type of machines. And now it's mine. <laughs> 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 Looks like those three are in trouble. Stay back! Be careful, Dain! An outlander! Don't just stare! Help her! Right! Wayne Song is counting on us! Eon, Down it goes! Can't 
let this thing stop us! I'm not planning on having anyone bury my seeds just yet! <sighs> the harvest! It's untouched. Everyone all right? You saved our lives. More importantly, you saved the harvest we carry. The Utaru are in your debt. Aloy. I am Dain. You're saying that's a whole harvest? The red light you see around you has withered most of our crops. What little we carry, we had to collect at the edge of the plains. So this is Utaru territory? It is. Our home plain song lies just down the road. I'm afraid you won't see many outlanders like yourself there. Uh, my people like to keep to themselves. But if you're lacking weapons or supplies, I know some of them will be willing to trade with you. Here, it's not much, but it's the least I can do to thank you. I can't take this. Please, any kindness we see, we also sow. Thank you. Dine. You should go. Tell the others we have the harvest, and that we need a healer. Right. May the land bloom in your steps. I should go too. If you do make it to Plainsong, we share our meals up on the northern dish. Dine's one of the cooks there. I'm sure he can make you some rations worth trading for. I'll try to make my way there if I can. So, you've returned from the west. Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Alvin. Radiant beams of the sun! And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Olvent here. Petra, too. There goes Olvin. <sighs> Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. What's Petra doing with the magistrate? Are the Karja going to sign the concession? What? Why is she here? I live here too, Lugnut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the Savior, the sun has shown the truth on the Bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping Tanakh pens rebels? of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvent. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the bristlebacks caused. All of it. My dear magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. Is to blame. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. Greedy as ever. And you almost drowned your other miners. And sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. Uh, I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Oh, certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? <laughs> oh, well, that would save the crown the cost. Of course. 
I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... Nope, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched-out forged dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, no. Don't want you! No. Don't need you! Down with all that! Sergeant Ray! Get off me! Mud looks good on you, Alvind. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, he had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. <sighs> okay. Chain scraper will be better off with Petra in charge. Missing these moments over a few shards. A few shards.